Hey sisters, welcome back to my channel. I know you're like, what the heck is she wearing? But when you see the thumbnail, it'll make sense, okay? So, I miss you guys, I miss you guys, I miss you guys so much. You have no idea. I had to just take a little break, take a couple days to recuperate, get my mind right, okay? And come back fabulous, all right? So, tonight's video, I'm sure all of our ladies can appreciate this video. It's going to be some tips and tricks to keep everything nice and right down below, okay? So, let's get right into the video, guys. I have some products here. I'm going to be sharing the products that I personally use that help me and that can possibly help you too, hopefully. <laughs> we know that quarantine is going on. Our ladies are ready to get hot and heavy with their loved one. And we want to make sure that our sisters are well taken care of, okay? We want to make sure that when they're ready to tear the bedroom down, okay? Things is in right order, all right? So I'm here to help. Let's get right into the video. So, first things first. Hygiene, 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 hygiene. Ladies, please, it's 2020. We should not have no issues with keeping down there smelling good, okay? Listen, so I have two products here I'm gonna share with you guys that I personally use. I'm gonna break it down and tell you when I use them, how I use them, why I use them. Alright, first things first is Vagicel. This is the pH balance one. And this is to help maintain your pH balance. It gives you an all day freshness. And it is hypoallergenic if you're very sensitive down there. And it is gynecologist tested and approved now i use this one there's a variety of ones you have the older one you have um some smell good ones and you have an aloe sensitive one okay i use this one and this is my every day when i'm taking a shower this is my every day okay this is my on the go this is my regular daily routine shower for just down there sometimes if i'm in a hurry i use it as a body wash but it has a very it has like a very soft flower smell to it it's not very potent and that's what i love about it because it keeps down there smelling nice too <laughs> all day as promised okay and what I also like about it is, most importantly, us ladies, when we eat a lot of foods, it can throw off our pH balance, a lot of different variety of types of foods. Not only that, if we don't have a very um, fluctual schedule where we can fit in a little exercise, if we don't dress properly, like give down there some air, not too much, you know, thongs and all of that down there. If you keep down there very, you know, suffocating, then you need something like this, okay? For all my sweethearts out there that want to keep their honey pot smelling good on a daily routine, this is what I use, all right? Next. Next is Queen V. Now, this also is pH balance. It's paraben and dye-free. Give you a closer look. This is the one that I love. It has green tea, mango, and chamomile. Now, that's interesting. I didn't know that until now. Yeah, chamomile. It's pH balance. The soak works to soften and moisturize down there. And it definitely does because of the green tea. Now, this does smell like mango. Oh, 
and it smells so good. This does smell like mango, and I personally use this one when I know that my honey is coming over, okay? And I use it after a good wax or a good shave. Now, let me tell you why. This one is very subtle. It has a very potent smell more than the other one, and that's why I use it because, you know, guys, you know, they be on the download trying to do the sniff test, you know, and you want to smell fruity and seductible, you know. So I use this one when my guy is coming over, and I use it when I wax or shave because the green tea in it will relax your skin and allow you not to have any razor bumps or hair bumps, okay? The green tea, all right? And not only that, it's perfect to keep your pH balanced as well, so you're not losing out on this wash. I used to use the bar wash, but I love this one more. I'm a body wash type of girl. And yeah, I use this one as a full body. So I just take a shower, get my loafer sponge, and yeah, we in there like swimwear, smelling like mango and, you know, got your favorite fragrance on, smelling nice for your sir. All right? Now, next is VIG Essentials Probiotics with Cranberry. Is it focusing? Can you see it? Now, I take these on a daily. There's only one left. <laughs> I take these on a daily. And I love them because it has cranberry in it. You know, cranberry is good for your bladder, your urinary tract. You know, especially when you're sexually active, you know, your urinary tract can get infected. You know, all those juices flowing and all those things. So you just want to make sure that you're keeping your bladder and your urinary tract very clean. And you're keeping up with your probiotics. Probiotic is very important. If you haven't noticed, probiotic is in each product that I just showed you. It's very important to balance your hormones. You want to keep your hormones balanced at all times, ladies. Okay? Very important. Now, next is... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Now, this is the shea butter one. Cocoa butter, I should say. Um, it has a very sensuous scent to it. And I know you're wondering, like, you know, girl, it's 2020. What the hell are you doing with Nair? Like, okay, let me explain, okay? All right. So, I used to own a professional pair of female clippers. When I say female clippers, I mean, like, I ordered online a pair of shares specifically for down there. It came as a kit and it had the different um, guards to put on it. It was very cute. It was pink and white and I loved it. I used it every time. Like I normally shave down there like every couple of days, every two or three days because I don't really grow back that fast and I like that smooth clean feeling less hair less odor less hacklings less you know very clean down there so I ordered that and I had it for about two and a half years and last month it just died on me like <laughs> I don't know what happened. Maybe I used it too often, but it died on me and it wasn't working. It wasn't coming on. I put new batteries in it. It still wasn't coming on. So I decided like, you know, maybe I was using it a little too much. Maybe I was going too hard. Maybe there's something better, cleaner and safer, you know, because I couldn't really see what I was doing. You know, you're just shaving but you can't see in case you didn't notice i'm a bit thick gums okay and i couldn't see what i was doing so i was using it very often but now i went old school 
and I decided to use Nair hair remover lotion for the simple fact that it works amazing for me like I put it on I put some in my hand literally I just squeeze some in my hand and I rub it down there I rub a very thick layer I make sure I get in between my legs and the butt crack area down there and I leave it there I leave it there for about 15 minutes now the reason why I do 15 minutes maybe that's too long for some of you but you have to know your body you have to know the strength of your hair follicles and honey my hair is very strong okay I don't know where I got my jeans from but it's very strong and thick okay so I leave it on for 15 minutes. You feel a little tingly, tingly feeling, a little bit, you know, but it smells amazing. And when I get in the shower, that's when I just use my loafer sponge or my hand sometimes. And I just gently wash down there, get between my thighs, get at the top area of your honey pot, get in between the lips of your honey pot, and the little crack area down there and honey when I tell you smooth like a baby's bottom okay better than the shares that I had all right and you still smell amazing because it has a amazing little scent to it you win she won so I use this now and I also use the um See, it says smooth skin lasts days longer than shaving. And it ain't lying. See? Days longer than shaving. And honey, it's not lying. Like, when I use this, I literally could go a whole week without using it again. Okay? A whole week. And when I was using the shares, I had to use it, like, every three days. So, this is a major upgrade. I love it. Ladies, sisters, go and try it, okay? Get your life, all right? Now, booyah! Pineapple. Ladies, I'm telling you, if you really want to smell good and taste good down there, Incorporate pineapples in your diet as much as you can, okay? I'm talking about twice a week, maybe even three. Pineapples does the trick. You will have your secretions very moist, okay? Very moist. You don't have to use any lubricant in the bedroom, all right? This will do it for you. Your natural juices will be flowing, okay? You will smell amazing and you will taste amazing for your guy. Trust me, I got you on this, sisters. I will never lead you astray when I tell you. This right here, all right? Okay, next up, probiotic gummies. Now, this one in per se is not for down there. This one in per se, it does have probiotic in it, but this one is for your digestive system. Now, a lot of females don't understand that your digestive system needs a little bit of help. It needs a little bit of oomph if you know what i mean especially if you're a caribbean sister that eats a lot of heavy foods your body just needs help to get the right nutrients and vitamins from the food that you're absorbing into your body and that's why you get digestive see for digestive system is it focusing i don't know if you could see it but for a digestive system, okay, you it's very important. This one is pineapple, raspberry, orange flavor. They have different flavors. This is the gummies. You could take whatever digestive probiotics you want, 
but please understand that is very 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 important it doesn't make sense that you use all these probiotic washes and supplements for down there if you're not going to make sure that your digestive system is on track too the more probiotic the better okay all right next up is chobani greek yogurt normally i get the one with the pineapples in it but lately i'm eating too much pineapples as you can see i eat this like literally every two days like i love pineapple as a whole that's my favorite fruit pineapple and watermelon so i'm trying to just take a break off of that i don't need so much pineapple in my life okay is way too much so i switched to mixed berry they have the one with mango they have the one with pineapple and they have the one with strawberries in it i love this one and as you know this has six live active cultures of acephidophilus bulgaricus thermophilus all that good stuff 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 all right honeys Sisters, let me tell you, just one of these, one of this a day, one a day, or every two days, or whenever you feel like it, hell, you all need it. If you're taking these two things right here already, oops, if you're taking these two things already on a daily, to hell with this. This is minor, all right? But if you have a rough week, oh, I'm stuttering because girls, like, I'm telling you. If you're having a rough week, you're having a busy schedule, you don't got time, you've been eating like crazy, you're eating all the wrong things, you're gaining weight, you just can't keep track anymore, you know, you slipped up on your washes, you know, you've been using all kind of different soaps, listen, just grab one of these and go, okay? Single moms, busy moms, booked moms, whatever mom woman female business entrepreneur honey whatever you are i got you just grab one of these and keep it going you don't have to do chobani there's plenty of other brands of yogurt out there that has these um essentials and nutrients in it but this is important for your digestive system as well so you want to balance everything out you don't want to just take probiotic supplements for down there only as i said you need something for your digestive system these two go hand in hand as well as bum, da, 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 this this is my favorite they have plain they have strawberry and they have raspberry this is my favorite. This is kefir. It has live probiotics in it. Now, sometimes I have busy morning, okay? I don't have time to make breakfast, a healthy breakfast. I just need to go, all right? So I will take a half a glass of this and keep it pushing. Maybe I'll end up with a bagel later on in the mornings when I have late mornings, you know? But... I love this. It tastes good. And this goes hand in hand with these three. Okay. These three right here. It goes hand in hand. This is for your digestive system. But it also has more cultures in it than a single bowl of yogurt. Okay. Or a carton of yogurt. It has more in one glass or half a glass. So therefore, you're getting everything you need right then and there. Boom, bam, bam. It's, you're swallowing it and it's in your stomach just working. It's working. It's doing its job. And you just like, hey, I'm cool. I got my probiotics in. Down there is feeling healthy and free and nice. And my stomach is feeling free and nice too. Okay. We got this. All right, sisters, I'm almost done. Last but not least, baking soda. Now, I know you're going to look at me like I'm crazy, but I promise you, baking soda, baking soda is good for something, all right? Now, specifically, I'm going to tell you when I use baking soda. I use baking soda when I'm very 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 sexually active okay 
I use it when I'm very sexually active, when I'm just like, yes, honey, I'm on cloud nine. Give it to me, okay? I need it. I love it. I want it. I crave it. When you in that zaddy moment of life, okay? When you're on cloud nine and can't come back down, this is your savior. All right, so I'm missing something that goes hand in hand with it, but I'm going to tell you. I do baths, okay? I do baking soda baths, and what I do is I fill the tub with warm, lukewarm water. I take about two and a half cups of this, if I'm not mistaken, because you could use one cup. But to me, for the amount of water versus one cup of powder, to me, it's not equivalent. So I use about two and a half roughly. Let me get myself together. Two and a half roughly cups of this in lukewarm, warm water in the bath. I use this right here to make my bubbles, okay? Because what's a bubble bath without bubbles, okay? I use that for my bubbles. And I use apple cider vinegar. I use about, let's say, I eyeball it to be honest. So you could just say like about a cup. A cup of apple cider vinegar. Pour it in there. Okay, now let me tell you what this bath is good for. I you I do this bath at least once a month, and once a month is enough. Please do not do it more than once enough. Once a month. See, you got me stuttering, cause girl, this is serious. Listen up, get your notebook. Okay, don't use this bath more than once a month. All right, use this bath once a month it's very potent it's very strong it gets the job done what it does is those ingredients combine together it gets in the secretions of your honey pot okay it deep cleans down there it gets up in there if you sit in the right position okay you know when you're sexually sexually active there's a lot of fluids going in and out of your honey pot so you want to make sure that you cleanse yourself very properly so you soak in that bath i would say for about an hour or two get your life honey get you a glass of wine get you a book light a candle relax okay it's very soothing you don't feel a thing all right now, once you're in the bath, you know, it's just cleaning, it's saturating, it's doing all of that for you, honey. It's balancing back your hormones and your muscles and it's tightening up everything. And I'm telling you, you, you got to try it. It's amazing. Like you walk out of that bath feeling brand new like a virgin again i kid you not okay i love it and especially after that time of the month is when i use it too because you know after that time of the month you have a lot of toxins coming out of the, coming out of there toxins bad blood you know all the sexual activity that you done had before your cycle started. You know, you want to get all of that stuff out of there so you can smell amazing, feel amazing, rejuvenate down there. You know, all the good stuff. So, I'm going to tell you again. Write it down. About two and a half cups of this. Okay, and about one cup of apple cider vinegar, the organic or the brags, okay, organic or the brags, not regular, okay, because you need the mother, you need the acidity from the mother to clean the secretions, to tighten up down there, you see what I'm saying, so, you know, and the baking soda is just going to reset everything, it's like a reset button, honey, oh. Girl, it's like a reset, okay? This right here, you 
done forgot that you had a cycle. You forgot that you done had a crazy sex life. You forgot the way how you feeling brand new after this bath. I promise you. And don't forget this because you need this, all right? So remember, okay, ladies? Remember this, this, and your organic apple cider vinegar. Sisters, I'm telling you, I love you guys. Please, 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 please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Comment down below any videos you want to see me do, any questions you may have. Please visit me on Instagram. I'm so lonely over there. I'm new to Instagram. I just started it. I'm not a social media person, but it calls for me now, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I feel like Beyonce right now. Like, I'm getting... I'm getting my Beyonce. My Beyonce. I should say Beyonce because my name is Vanessa. So I'm feeling my Beyonce in this wig. Like, I just wish I, you know, wish I could surprise somebody tonight. But anywho, sisters, that's it for my video. Thank you for watching. Please remember, like I said, and I'm gonna say it again. Please, 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 from the bottom of my heart, follow these instructions. You don't have to use these exact products, but you know, along the lines, find what works for you and subscribe. Okay? Peace.